says apply SD uh, update. You, won't, you don't want to do that yet. Next one says wipe data factory reset. You don't want to do that yet. First thing you want to do is do an Android backup version 2.1. So you're going to go ahead and do that. And when you do that, it's going to go ahead and back up your original files to uh, your computer here, to your SD card, which you can actually pull up later if you need to. So you're going to go ahead and pull that, uh, do that backup. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is a wipe. When you do a wipe, it basically deletes the settings for your previous ROMs. Um, that's really good in, in circumstances where you're installing a different ROM or you're doing, uh, you're installing a, an image from a rooted, uh, a rooted ROM. So in this case, you want to go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, you're going to apply the SD card update, which is the SPL that you're installing. Once that update is done, you're just going to go ahead and reboot system now. Once you've done that, <coughs> you're officially um, at a different SPL, which is going to allow you to install different ROMs. Okay, so now what you do, you go back into that actual website where you've actually gotten the um, recovery image, and you're going to go ahead and download the uh, Superhero ROM version 2. So far, I hope you guys are all with me on this. Once you've actually downloaded that, <coughs> it's going to go ahead and look something like give me a second here it's going to go ahead and look something like that okay now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put that file on your SD card as well delete the original update file that you had on the actual uh, phone and you're going to go ahead and put that image on your SD card so what you do, you download that, put that on your SD card, and rename it update. So it's a cute little HTTP guy saying hello. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and put that update on your SD card. Um, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and fast boot in the recovery image again, and you're going to go ahead and apply a wipe. Once you've applied that wipe, you're going to go ahead and simply um, uh, you're going to simply go ahead and uh, and, and uh, apply the update. Now, once you actually apply the update, if you don't do anything and you just uh, you just uh, reset the, the, the actual phone, it's going to stay on the Rogers sign. You don't want to do that. What you want to go ahead and do is, remember that Nandroid backup I was telling you about? <clears throat> well, that Nandroid backup will actually be right on the card. So you can grab yourself an SD card reader, and you can go ahead and just simply... Um, uh, simply go ahead and, and put that card and plug it into your computer. Once you plug that card into your computer, let's just connect it here. I don't need to do this right now, but I'm just trying to show you guys something. So once you've gone ahead and plugged that card into your computer, you're going to get something like this. Let's give it a second here. It's just thinking. Okay, so you're going to see, where is it, Nandroid? You're going to see Nandroid. You double click on that. You're going to see a bunch of uh, letters and numbers there. That's just the backup volume. And then in your case, you're only going to see one of these number, one of file. You're not going to see two. I've done a couple backups, but the one that actually shows is what you're going to want to do. You're going to go ahead and see boot IMG here. You're going to go ahead and basically copy, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and drop down this menu. And you're simply going to do this. You're going to go ahead and go back into the SDK folder where the tools folder is. And you're going to right click and paste that image in. Okay? And mine is currently, do -do -do -do, let's see where that boot image is. Mine is right here. Okay? Once you've done that, <coughs> and you've actually, you're at that Rogers stuff logo, or you've actually gone ahead and done the update, and now you've, uh, you've gone ahead and, and reset the device, and it's stuck on that boot logo, you're going to just pull out the battery from the back. And when you do that, you're going to go ahead and write this into your, system, into your DOS prompt. You're going to go fast boot, boot, flash, Boot.img. In this case, 
you can't load it because my phone is not uh, connected the way we want to do. But uh, what you'd want to do is once you have that Rogers sign, it's going to say waiting for device because the phone would be connected, obviously, and you should be able to go ahead and do that. Um, what this essentially does is it actually puts that initial boot image from Rogers, and it's telling it that uh, the phone is in fact a Rogers unit, and then uh, you'll go ahead and be able to boot up properly here. Um, if my video is a little confusing, I'm sorry guys, it's just kind of hard to do once you've already done it. Um, I can go ahead and actually redo.